this is Batman. You're watching Kyle Reviewed. Hey guys, just finished watching Arrow, Season 8, Episode 4, Present Tense. Um, oh my god, what an amazing episode. The writing on this episode has been peak. I mean, this these shows work so much better when they're down to like 10 episodes. So these 22 episode arcs that these all these other shows need to do are just kind of silly. Um, they need to stop doing them and just have 10 episodes. It would be cool if they just did 10 episodes and, you know, you do one episode uh, and then you air it and then the next episode and then... Uh, you go 10 episodes, and then the next show picks up 10 episodes, and the next show 10 episodes, and the next show, and then it just all year round, you're constantly getting an episode of one of the shows. That would have been really, be really awesome to do that with these shows, but they much rather get to the, uh, the ratings throughout multiple nights rather than just one night um, a week, right? So this show was really interesting, really good, the way the, the interaction between Oliver and his young, younger kids and Diggle and stuff and all that stuff with the future kids and stuff. I think that was really, really well done. Um, it still makes no sense as to why the monitor even did this in the first place. Like, what is he getting out of this? How does this make sense into the crisis? So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with this. Hopefully they make something that makes, hopefully when the crisis starts or something, we later on get an explanation as to why this is going to make sense, you know? Because it seems like just, oh, uh, let's put these two together. That would be awesome. We could do a lot with that. Okay, how are we going to do that? They're like, uh, let's just say the monitor did it, you know? And no explanation as to why, as to where things go. So we'll have to wait and see as to how things kind of continue on with this. Um, you know, maybe we'll see as to how, if the monitor that we've been following ends up getting revealed as... Um, as the anti-monitor, I think that could be something interesting that could maybe explain a little bit of to where things are going. Um, just because we do know the same actors playing the monitor and the anti-monitor, and the uh, when we went to when we when we went to the uh, League of Assassins there uh, and a part about last episode, they found the scroll talking about hell. Hey, he's the guy who destroys the planets, right? Well, it's just probably the anti-monitor and not this guy we've been following. So it'd be fun to see as to where things go. Maybe find out that. You know the 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 any monitors been impersonating the monitor type thing, so that could be something fun. We'll have to wait and see as to where things go. But the relationship stuff, dealing with Oliver and the and Mia and and uh, and William and stuff, that was really interesting. I'd love to see William meet his younger self. That would be something cool. Um, but I think that's something that we'll probably save for the spinoff show, uh, Green Arrow on the Canaries. So I think that'll be quite cool to see as to where things go with that, and maybe in that show eventually do something where th where William meets his younger self. I think that could be quite cool. I mean, they don't have... Mia yeah, could meet her younger self, but she's just a really young child, right? Um, or maybe later on in future seasons, we could do that. We could have older Mia uh, meet younger Mia at some point. That could be something cool to, 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 to change. And um, it seemed interesting how they had... Uh, they killed off uh, Zoe and stuff, uh, Renee's uh, uh, daughter and stuff in the future, and then to come back. Because I just found that, that especially w watching most recently, I started to notice that, like, the actors who they cast in the future and the actress who they have as a young Zoe in 2019, they do not look whatsoever like each other, you know? Um, like, it, it's, it, is, it is drastically, like, different people, you know? Um, so I think that was kind of interesting to see is how things kind of... Good thing they did that because that would have just been kind of confusing. There's, I don't even believe that Renee would have even recognized her as his daughter type thing because it did not the casting there was just completely off and i don't know why they did that since they had the little girl cast a, a long time ago like when, when renee first appeared in the show so you know why would they do that and uh and cast her so crazy i mean the actress was great in the future she was really good in the role and all that stuff not the answer it's just you know there's just some obvious casting choices that didn't make sense you know the only thing would have been drastic change in difference to make a different casting that's not the same character would have been to just change the gender at some point um which i guess you could you could have done something like that just say she went through the uh the surgery or something like that but um to 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 change to become transgender and all that stuff but uh i don't know i'm just it's just interesting that they they killed that that off and i like the way things kind of went how renee now has that kind of looming over him for the rest of uh of, of his time you know on this show for the season and potentially him if he's on the uh the the green arrow on the canary show i don't see why not why he wouldn't be on there now some of these characters might you know might sign on might uh, not sign on right away but leaving the characters alive in this show could be interesting to potentially bring them back on later on in future seasons of that 
uh, Green Arrow and the Canaries spin-off show. So I think it'd be quite cool to see where things go with that. Uh, I love getting more looks at John Diggle's jacket here. It's, it definitely looks green. It looks very easy to take that jacket that he's wearing right now and turn it into a Green Lantern uh, jacket. So I think that could be something interesting to see. And I'd love to see an interesting to see as to how things go, especially if if John Diggle since Greg Berlanti is doing that Green Lantern show on HBO Max, um, we could potentially see Jon Stewart maybe go off and do that. And it would be an interesting idea of seeing uh, seeing Connor, uh, Connor Clayton actually see him uh, or Connor Hawk, uh, which I don't know why his why he's called Connor Hawk and not Connor Clayton and stuff. Uh, but if you see Connor, um, you know, actually... Maybe he ends up raising JJ because something happens to uh, to. So I'm not mistaken, the Crisis Comics, um, uh, Lila Lila Michaels Harbinger ends up actually killing herself, ends up dying in, in the Crisis. So we could see that happening. Things are going all wrong, and then John St- and then Diggle gets the a Green Lantern ring, and he just takes off, and then we pick him up with him in that HBO show. Maybe he pops up once or twice in a couple of big, big crossovers in a couple of seasons, but he's gone. He's doing all, all those things over there. Now, if that Green Lantern show takes place entirely in outer space, you could totally do that and just be like, he's out in outer space, and we have to have Connor Hawk kind of, uh, you know, um, I think the actor has posted a bit online saying that he might be joining that uh, crossover, that uh, spinoff show. So seeing him at some point taking care of Diggle, um, depending on if Lila makes out, makes it out of there. If Lila doesn't make it out of there, then it's kind of more difficult for for uh, for uh, John Diggle to just take off as a Green Lantern. Um, and even if he does, you know, the Lantern's like, obviously the ring will come and pull him, force him to Oa type of thing. Uh, but then he would always come back to come see, to see Lila, right? So that's maybe why they don't do that. But if they kill off Lila, and you know, then maybe that leaves a, uh, you know, it leaves a possibility of having him as a Green Lantern. So definitely can't wait to see. And the acting between everyone was amazing, spot on this episode. I definitely can't wait to see more of this show. Let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hi, this is Kevin Conroy talking to you from the library of Wayne Manor. You may know me as Batman. I just want you to know that you're watching Kyle Reviewed. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman.